I don't even want to go through the, the emotional turmoil of like having somebody like rap me. Like that's a little bit too much for my liking. Hi guys. I'm the only person I know that would leave to go to the grocery store to buy one thing and leave with so many items. After a grocery store run, I probably should have bought two bread. Oh, no, one is fine. After a grocery store run, as soon as I get home and like start using stuff and things start running out, I start putting them right back on the list. So when I go to the grocery store, I'm not leaving anything. Oh good, I bought some Irish potatoes and I bought some sweet potatoes. The last time I Instacarted some stuff and the lady got okay sweet potatoes, but I felt like they were so tiny, like I'd have to bake like four and five or six to get like a week's worth of meal prep and that's too much. So I went to this grocery store and I picked out the ones that I liked, like some bigger ones that I'm able to bake. But let me show you guys. I'm the only person I know that goes to the grocery store for one thing and spends $121. My Cheetos was done. But look at that. And I was just standing there like, yeah, so I'm gonna need these things, so I might as well just get them right now. Like toilet paper, the one that I've had is not quite done yet because I had bought a big pack and it's just two people using it. So I still have some out of that, but I just decided to buy like two packs of four to like add to what I already have. I bought some juice, I bought some paper plate because I needed that and I forgot it from the last grocery run. And then I bought bleach, which I need. And just a few other things. So we're gonna, um, let me bring. Oh. One of my nails also came off yesterday and I need to, um, it back so probably gonna do that today because today is my last day off so if it doesn't happen today I don't know when it's gonna happen but yeah I cleaned the stove yesterday and I didn't put the burner and stuff back on there I need to put aluminum foil let me get the bags okay about banana and you know what's so funny when I was outside, I was in there looking for more apples because I just have five on the table and the oranges that I bought the last time were like complete trash. Like they're already pretty much all spoiled and I haven't even used them yet. I think Amazon said my package was delivered. I'm so confused. Oh, it said it's arriving today. Because my alarm was for 8 o'clock, so I woke up a little bit before 8 o'clock and then I, um got up and showered and stuff and pretty much just put my clothes on to go get the drug test done because I thought that the place would have been full so I'm just like I'm gonna go from early so even if I end up waiting an hour that I'm gonna go as soon as they're open which is eight o'clock so even if I end up waiting an hour then I'm gonna be there I'm gonna I should be done by like 9 30 or 10 o'clock tops so that's what I did and I ended up going to a store to buy um, scrubs because once the, the orientation starts, I'm gonna need the scrubs to wear. And the scrubs that I had before that I was wearing to school, I had thrown them away because one, they were white and I hated the idea that they were white because they soil so easily. And so because I threw them away, I had to get some new scrubs so that I could wear. So I ended up doing that, getting the scrubs. And then um, I went straight to the grocery store on the bus and then came home. So that's why 12 o'clock, I'm just getting here after leaving at like eight something. But I'm pretty glad that the errands that I had to run, I really knocked them out from like earlier in the day. When I was waiting on the last bus too, my job called and he was just like, um, hey, so what's up? Once they call, you know what's up. He was just like, yeah, the, the person who was supposed to come in today didn't come in and I was wondering if you could come. And I'm like, bro, you should have called me from earlier because I already left to go do something. That's after I had already decided that I'm going to go to the grocery store and pick up some like sweet potatoes and stuff like that because I don't have any. So I'm just like, no, I'm not going to go now. And then I was just like, well, let me see if I can get done and ask him if two o'clock would be fine. But I'm just like, no, I'm going to enjoy my last day off because honestly, the days are long and they are stressful. Okay. 
So I'm gonna enjoy our last day off today and you know, relax and everything to go in tomorrow. So I just told him, I'll see you tomorrow. And he's just like, yeah, okay. I got some really nice juicy plantains. And what's funny is I had gotten some beat up looking ones before and then I seen the man taking those up and like putting out some new ones. And I'm like, excuse me, are these new plantains? And he's just like, yeah. And I'm like, can I get some? Because I just chose some from the old batch and they don't look good. And the man was laughing. And they always have like a little deal on red plantain. I really feel like I have to throw away all these oranges, honestly. Jesus. They always have like a deal on red plantains where it's like um five or three for two dollars. This time it was five for three dollars, but it was on the old ones. I'm just like, yeah, well, I already got them. So, and he was just like, all right, go ahead. I'll change the price after you're done. So, love that for me. Got a little deal there. <laughs> but, um... I'm going to finish up in the kitchen here, put away the groceries that I got and stuff like that and I'll come back later on. This Arizona was truly more expensive at the actual grocery store than it was when I bought it on Instacart and it's probably because they were having like a deal, a sale at the grocery store on Instacart but Jesus Christ, like I love a good sale because what the hell, honestly, damn. <laughs> Decent sized sweet potatoes. Alright guys, so I'm done putting away the groceries and I'm taking some chicken out that I'm going to cook for today. What I'll do sometimes is, when I buy the family pack of like chicken, I'll cut it up, season it up, put it in Ziploc bags and put it in the fridge. I need some Ziploc bags. Probably going to buy those on um, Amazon. I'm going to see what they have. So um, I'll season it up and put it in the fridge so on a day like today where I'm coming from wherever it is and I feel like cooking or even like an evening after work, if I feel like cooking, then I could just take that out and it's already ready to go because it's already seasoned. But meal prep is already in the fridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this and um, put it in a container so it's in the fridge for like evenings after work if we come home and we feel like we're starving, we have something to eat. So love that. Now that I'm done with everything here, I need to put some aluminum foil over the stove. And why I do this is this makes cleanup so much easier. Oh girl. In the sense that once this gets soiled from like cooking and like the overflows of whatever it is on the stove, I can just take this up, wipe off underneath and put a new sheet down. You know, Jody told me about some things on on Amazon that I could use instead of the aluminum foil. They're actually made to put over the stove. So I'm going to look for those. And I'm also going to look for Ziploc bags. Because running out. But, yeah. And the Ziploc bag, I use it when I take lunch to work. I put, um my lunch container in a Ziploc bag because I don't carry my lunch bag anymore. So I just put my lunch container in a Ziploc bag and it's like I might put it in the fridge and stuff like that so it's separate from everybody else's lunch. So yeah. But today was a very productive day. When I was coming from the store, I was just like, wow, I should have probably vlogged at the store and all that. But honestly, when I have errands to run and I leave the house to go do what I'm doing, I'm really just thinking, how quickly can I get this done so that I can go back home? Especially because today is my last day off. Like, I just want to be in and out of these places that I have to get to and just done with it. So I can be right back home chilling, okay? I'm going to pour some bleach into this bleach um, container. I'm going to dilute it because this is the no splash bleach. Which means it's thicker. Is it really thicker? Maybe not. Well, I have um, 12 rolls of toilet paper in total. And plus 3 in the bathroom. So like 15. And that could last for a very long time. So I'm going to change in some comfortable clothes. And take these outside clothes off. And let this meet the frost on its own. And then cook it up a little bit later like not anytime soon because it's just 12 o'clock so I still have pretty much a whole rest of the day, the day you guys 
one of these evenings I said I was going to leave and like go run or whatever. But honestly, after it gets to a certain time, I'd be so afraid because I have the Citizens app. And a lot of times you see on there where, oh, there was a robbery at like knife point or like gun point close by. And I'm like, uh-uh, I'm not going to be running or walking on these little back streets and the next thing you know somebody is sticking me up for what my phone and my Apple Watch because I don't have anything else that they'd want to take because I don't bring my purse with me when I'm going. I just bring my keys, my phone, and the watch. That's it. And I'm like, I don't even want to go through the, the emotional turmoil of like having somebody like rob me. Like that's a little bit too much for my liking. So I'm just like, after it gets to a certain point in the day, I don't even. And it's not to say that People are not, like, robbing people during the day. Like, why are people robbing people in general, you know? But it's not to say that people are not robbing people in the day. But at nighttime when, you know, the roads are lonely and stuff like that, then that's the time that they'd be wanting to do it. Because even if you crying out for help at night, chances are nobody is going to come out to come help you because it's nighttime and nobody's trying to die out here in the streets. In Tuesday's press conference, Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that New York hospitals are now accepting visitors great love that anyways i'm about to go change sit on the couch set up a queue that's my little daily thing and enjoy the last couple hours of this last day off for this week so yeah so guys not on me did i buy scrubs at the store but so um the scrubs are blue because what's better than dark colors especially for a woman who PMS and all that. And I actually tried them on in the store just to make sure that they actually fit me before I leave because I really hate returning. Or even exchanging. Like once I buy something and leave the store, I don't want to have to go back. <laughs> for none of those reasons. And I'm currently on my phone because my um, camera is in the living room and I don't feel like going in there right now. So I bought these scrubs but I also bought these throw pillowcases for two of my cushions in the living room because I've been wanting yellow, like textured ones. And I saw this at the store for $4.99 and all the ones that I've been seeing on Amazon, like $10. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Or like, I had honestly seen like a set for, um, how much did I see that set for? For $12 for a pack of two on Amazon. And I definitely was gonna buy that one. But I like, the couch is gray, so I like these um, like bright colors that still goes with the whole overall theme of like the living room decor. But yeah. So this is what they look like. Love them. Love, love, love them. So I'm gonna go in the living room right now and I'm gonna put these two on two of my pillows. Put some freshener on them so that they smell like something. Love that. So I'm going to hang up these scrubs right now and then go in the living room and put those on. But before I do that, I'm going to change into pajama sets. Yummy. So I'll come back. All changed. So now we're going to head to the living room. My head feels like it kind of hurts a little bit, but that's probably because I... Haven't eaten anything all morning. I just got up and left. And I brought a bottle of water with me. And I had um, like a little snack in my bag. But I didn't even eat that. Like I was so focused on finishing what I was doing. I was not thinking about eating. So we're going to go into the living room and do what I said I was going to do. And yeah. Alright. So let me see. Let me see. Let me turn my um, this on. So these pillows, I bought them like that from, I think, Marshalls. Yeah, I really think so. So, gotta see if they can hold in here. Are they 18 by 18 or 20, but they are 18 by 18. And the rest of them are pretty much cases. This one is tight. But you see how, like, colors like this goes well with the um with the color of the couch that's the plan man all right so that's one and love that at least i get to see how much um 
how I like it and it didn't cost like too much because this was $4.99 I was thinking of getting gray too in the store and I'm just like I don't know let's go home first and see if I like these of course I would but I can always go back and like get some more especially now that I know and I feel like this is a good way to like freshen up the look of like your couch or whatever without buying new pillows all the time see change the pillow covers so I'm gonna relax here and watch some YouTube on the TV for a couple hours then I'm gonna cook and then I think that might be it for the rest of my day if anything else happens you guys will know if not you'll know too but for right now that's all